Hello, everyone. Welcome to our presentation for the OER Geomatics project. The principal investigators for this project are Dr. Paul Pickel, Assistant Professor of Teaching Geomatics in the Faculty of Forestry, Department of Forest Resources Management, and Evan Thornberry, GIS Librarian at the UBC Library. Our team members this term are Juno as the project lead and software developer, Dante as the staff software developer, and Floria as the software developer. The project PIs are part of a team developing the UBC Geomatics textbook, an open digital textbook that will be used for teaching geomatics across UBC. This OER Geomatics project aims to create interactive 3D visualizations that can be embedded into the textbook and will help the textbook concepts jump out of the page. We utilized React 3 Fiber and 3JS, a JavaScript 3D library to create the visualizations. The prototypes are being hosted on Amazon AWS S3 bucket. The two primary interactive visualizations that our team has worked on are the Geodesy and LiDAR visualization. Visualizations for the electromagnetic spectrum and other supplementary figures in the textbook are being considered to be developed. Geodesy visualization. The purpose of this visualization is to compare and contrast three different models of Earth covered in the textbook, the sphere, ellipsoid, and geoid. The three models are displayed on top of one another to better see the differences in height between them. And a side menu allows the user to set the model parameters and which models are visible. This visualization also includes a 3D model of the geoid that we made in Blender using a publicly available height data set. We gave it a diverging color scheme between brown and blue to indicate whether the geoid was higher or lower than the ellipsoid. We've also highlighted the intersections of the latitude and longitude with the three different models to make the height difference between the models clearer. LiDAR, light detection and raging technology, utilizes point clouds, which are a collection of points that represents a 3D shape or feature. Each point has its own set of XYZ coordinates and additional attributes. Point cloud data can then be rendered to as a visualization, which then can be used for a study. This visualization originates from open source project called Pawtree, which renders the point cloud data. There are several point cloud data formats available. From experimentation, the data processed by NWINE to EPT format was determined to be ideal. This visualization utilizes query parameters to display different attributes and enable customization without distracting the user from the original purpose of supplementary figure to aid in understanding the concept. The customizations available are different attributes such as the elevation level, classification, return number, and the number of returns. Different viewing angles and various color gradients are available along with the mobile support, which has reduced resolution. Moving into the new term, we'll be conducting user interviews to better understand how students use these two visualizations. We're also looking into how the visualizations will be integrated into the textbook in its different formats, such as PDF versus a web page. Finally, we're looking forward to creating new visualizations for the other chapters, such as the chapter on remote sensing. The current two visualizations are publicly available as prototypes, so feel free to ask the EML staff for the links. Thank you for listening to our presentation.